hush around the Stade Ernest Vallon. The seven Supremos, Fiji against the new kids on the block. Ireland, the men in green, left to right, have possession early. Roach, you saw the crucial try in the semi-final to get them here. There's his fellow sevens original. Harry McNulty helping him win the ball, but Fiji get the early penalty in a dangerous part of the field for Ireland. Booker Yardo gets the ball away to Vakarunambili, and now Waisea Nathunga, a couple of Tokyo gold medalists in combination there. He flings it in field, and Fiji, within 40 seconds, have a try in the cup final, and it's the captain who does it. Oh, yeah, what about this guy here? Nathungu, he had no space to work in, gets rid of Conroy, keeps in the play, another defender comes across in Kennedy, and for a small man, he's just so strong. Look at that inside ball as well, good following up by the skip, Dungu, and they start this one on fire, Fiji. Got to be so careful giving away decisions at the wrong end of the park against these outstanding Rugby Sevens players. Conversion has made it, so they get the maximum, and they lead it seven to nothing in the Toulouse final. Nathunga, who set that one up. Those twinkling sky blue boots we've been watching shriek around this field all weekend long, and he's come up with a brilliant restart here to again pin Ireland back deep. Oh, the experience of Fiji playing in so many finals. Ireland, I was wondering how the emotion of hearing their anthem would do to them. They have to settle down here and just compose themselves a little bit. Ireland ended an eight-game losing streak in that win over Fiji in Singapore. That will give them confidence. Muscle memory from that. Here's Harry McNulty. McNulty, good run out from him. He's got support from Kelly, but the ball inside. Just doesn't make it to Tom Roach. And that's an unforced error. Win finals, everything just speeds up that little bit more. It's a nice break from Harry McNulty. He has been fantastic this weekend for Ireland. He must be part of the dream team. There's moments like that against Fiji in the big game. You cannot miss. So that'll be a Fiji feed to the scrum. Bukiyaro, he's got... Nathungu out to his right. Big Bakarun on Billy and Tanakai Bata. Firm up this scrum for Fiji. Kukiyaro goes digging. Roach is all over him and Ireland have possession here. Roach has it to Kelly. So good scrum from the Irishman. Roach again. Terry Kennedy to Jordan Conroy. Conroy, all the pace in the world, stop go from him, wisely so. Fiji cut him off at the pass. Here's Tom Roach. Good carry from one of the new faces in this island team, but they get done for not supporting their weight at the breakdown, and Fiji can come away with it. Missed opportunity for Ireland. But they've got the ball back, it's Terry Kennedy. Kennedy draws the defender. Gives it to Conroy, and Jordan's in the corner. Well, that's a good way to settle yourself down. Great reply from the Irish. And it's that combo again. Terry Kennedy to Jordan Conroy. Man, this breakdown area has been contested fiercely at the moment in this first seven minutes. Kennedy straight over the pill. Just the peripheries at the, of the man to realise where his fast man was, and it comes in the form of Jordan Conroy. Easy as you please. Kick from wide out to level it up from Mark Roach. And he nails it. Straight through the middle. We are level in Toulouse. Yeah, Canada did it the first time they went to a final. That was an all North American affair between Canada and the USA in 2017. Kelly on the chase. Puts Bolatha. Another gold medalist from Tokyo in this current Fijian squad, of course, head coach by former England star Ben Gollings these days. And here's Lysaia 
Nathan Goo gives the ball away to Thano Kaivata. He thunders upfield as well. Good slick stuff, this from the Olympic champions. Over the halfway line, Satoranga. Here's Vakarunam Billy. Thought about the offload. It's gone forward, so a chance for Kennedy and Ireland to counter attack here. He's got Conroy with him, he'll choose to kick. Conroy's on the chase. Nathungu on Conroy. Conroy just trips over the heels of Waseya Nathungu. Certainly wasn't intentional. Ball stays in field. And like a thief in the night, Terry Kennedy says, thank you very much. I'll pick that one up and score. Oh. Extraordinary stuff. Oh, yeah, this guy is in some sort of form. He's the one that kicked it through for a speed man, Conroy. This is a good race here. Nathungu Jordan Conroy. This was straight up bizarre. I think he thought it was going to go over. Great work by Kennedy. That is awareness. Supreme stuff by him. Terry Kennedy has now scored 37 tries this series. He leads that department in all players. That conversion doesn't make it, but Ireland are in the lead. Correction, 39. Sorry, Terry. He scores them so quickly, it's hard to keep up. Roach, one of the best drop kick restarters in the business, goes straight down the middle for Kelly once more. Really high that one. Back Kelly forward. almost had too much time. Forward, yeah, forward. Just went forward between oh, Roach just enough on. and Kelly. Oh, that was unlucky there for Ireland because Fiji had all no. gone to the Irish no. side but expecting the on. tap back, so they were exposed in the middle of the park. Just couldn't take it. Watch out for a green scrum pile, not the here. Before the ball so it fits in. They've right. gone past the ball. Connects. Communication just not there at the moment for Fiji. It's like a double bluff, wasn't Roach. it? From from PG, thinking they're going to get the knockdown. Kelly had all the time in the world. Fox in the red. Ireland with a five point advantage. But here come Fiji. So dangerous. Oh, and they're through again. They are through again. It's Bolatha who will run away. He did this in the semi final. And he's done it again in the gold medal match. We're level. The conversion will be the go ahead score. Yeah, great work by Ben Gollings, starting him. He's been coming off the bench predominantly this weekend, but Napoloni Bolatha, absolute game changer. That is a good matchup, wasn't it? Against Kennedy, the stop and go. He's just so, so, so smooth when he changes direction, that Bolatha. He was a nominee for the 2021 World Rugby Men's Sevens Player of the Year. One by the Argentinian, Marcus Moneta, but Bolatha with a big play in the cup final. Nafunga with the extra two, Fiji back in front. They lead the gold medal match at the break by 14 points to 12. Billy Dardis. Ireland captain gets us underway, lifted high at the restart. Huge strength to make sure the player was safe there. Nafungu. No sweeper for Ireland, so he kicks in behind. McNulty's chasing back as it's Billy Dardis. Dardis winning the race at the moment. Chips ahead again by Nathungu. And getting back for Ireland it was Andrew Smith. Fresh legs off the bench. They needed him there. Oh, did they what? Man, oh, man. Speed showing by both teams. Great contest. But heads up play from Nathungu, realising the situation. The island we're in with no sweeper. So 22 dropout. Don't see a huge amount of these in rugby sevens. But it's fallen into Fijian hands. Dangerous with players stretched all the way across the field. Here come Fiji looking to extend their two-point lead here. Vakarun on Billy to Nathungu. Offload over the top and another one. And the big fella. Flies into the corner. Vakaru Nambili and Nathungu in tandem. That was brilliant. Oh, he's been one of their best players this weekend. Vakaru Nambili. Great build up once again. Look at the big man trail. Look at the athleticism to hurdle over the player. And the awareness to stay in. Oh, how good is that finish? Oh, athletes in motion.
Big Harry McNulty trying to take him out as well. He's got some size about him. Conversion from out wide, won't make it. Remains seven points the difference. That's one score. And Vakarun Ambili has earned himself a rest. He's replaced by Semi Kunatani. Well, you think you get some relief with the big fella coming off and you get big Semi coming on, so good luck with that. Island, though, for me, Rupert, this is the most important kickoff of their tournament. They really need this one. Yeah, Semi Kunatani, a Rio Olympic gold medalist replacing the Tokyo gold medalist Vakarun Ambili. Long kick again, trusting their defence of Fiji. And they go in for the heavy hit on the chase. The ball's loose. Danger signs again for Ireland. And Fiji are in again. It's Elia Thanakaibata who has chased the ball 50 metres and got his reward with a try in the final. Look at this defence, though. The really late platform. Take that. Big shot across the chest of Smith. And then the breakdown work again from Fiji was good. And there's the guy who put the shot on. Tanakai Vata. And now they're starting to enjoy themselves. It all come from that long kick. They've done it twice. That's a Ben Golling special for sure. Try and turn Island around and make them play from deep in their own quarter. Conversion doesn't get there, remains 24-12. It's a two-score game now. 3.40 to go, plenty of time. But a heck of a lot of work to do for Ireland in the first cup final. Here's Conroy, can he be the difference? He so often has been for Ireland in big games, and he bursts away here. There's Jordan Conroy up towards the halfway line. He's got Billy Dardis with him. What a run from Jordan Conroy. McNulty arrives for Ireland. Here's Kelly now. Flat pass across, and it's got too much heat on it. That almost went into row C. Oh, it's a shame there for Ireland. Like I said, it all started from a nice run from Conroy. This guy's played a many a final for England. Using all that experience. Look at those stats. Unparalleled. They'll never be caught. 2,000. 652 points, that's for sure. He has been there and done that. And there was a there was a very talented shortlist for that job, I can tell you. And ben Gollings got the gig. Already a gold medal in Singapore, and they're three minutes away from another one here. Ireland need possession. Can't play by to the try scorer. Bolatha to Rasaku. He's come off the bench and he is just scintillating to watch this guy. So powerful and strong. They get the penalty and they're going to go quickly here. Ah, Fiji. Masamoa offloads the ball and they're in again. The man who started it, come in the alley, Rasaku. Might have put one firm Fijian grip on the Toulouse Sevens trophy. Oh, yeah, it's going to be hard for Ireland to pull them back now. There's a celebration from Fiji and the great footwork from Maisa Moore, Arasaku, sorry. Manueli Maisa Moore he made his debut just before Christmas last year in Dubai. He funded his university and rugby career through working on the family farm. Well, he's having a bit of, of a field day out here at the Stade Ernest Vallon. Conversion doesn't get there, 29-12, but, well, it'll take something of a miracle now for Ireland from here. Back underway, McNulty. It's not 10, it's not 10. Not 10. Chooses not to play it. Didn't go the 10, so they get the free kick on the centre spot. A minute 25 to go. Dardis. Kennedy. McNulty. Oh, he's hit hard by Semi Kunasani, who used to call this ground home for Toulouse in the top 14. Offload off the floor. Here they come again. Nathungu. Oh, heavy hit coming in on him from Andrew Smith, the Leinsterman. Forces the penalty, and here he goes again. Smith over the top, 
Good hands to scoop that one off the floor from Brian Mullen. Here's Kennedy. Shay Mullins being given some time here down the stretch in this final. Billy Dardis, he's got McNulty with him. McNulty, who scored the try that sealed their Olympic spot in Monaco last year, but that's been intercepted by Semi Kunatani. And here come Fiji. And the crowd, the noise, the dish offload read by Kennedy. A simultaneous contact there, would you say? Oh, geez, it <laughs> was. Normally, Fiji will score nine times out of ten in that situation. Some good work from Semi Kunatani. But equally, that's great defence from Kennedy. Henry, Perfectly timed. You get that wrong, that's late. And it's a penalty try. There's no one behind. We're approaching the final seconds here. And Ireland, you learn from these experiences, Carl. I imagine getting in finals and it perhaps not going your way. But the first time they've done it, this will do a huge amount for their development. Oh, sometimes you've got to lose one to win one. I've got the taste now. They know what works on them, working out their formula. And they've got the goods too, so they can hold their heads up high for sure. Gardas squashed underneath that collapsed scrum. It's a penalty to Fiji. You heard the cockerel. Right. The sound for the end of the game, but you can't finish on a penalty. It's to Ireland, in fact. So Ireland will get one final shot here to try and finish their Toulouse event on a high. Yeah, Harry McNulty says, let's go to the line It's been a launch pad for them. He's been so great in that department. Yeah, McNulty, Roach, Kennedy, part of those Sevens Originals when they regenerated this program from the fifth tier of Rugby Europe in Bosnia in Division C 2015. And here they are, year after their Olympic appearance in a cup final. It's not going to go their way, but it's been an outstanding journey to this stage. McNulty wins it in the middle, down to Dardis. Sean Kearns is out there as well. Shay Mullins, good carry from him. He's got Kearns with him, Dardis. Smith gets away from Kunatani. And another Andrew Smith just chopped to the floor. No, no, Ireland no, no. looking to finish their cup final with a try here. And who else? It'll be Jordan Conroy in the corner for Ireland. It won't be enough. But assuming this one gets awarded, that's something sure, happy try try? to put a smile on Irish faces. Yeah, did he get it down? It was a good chase by Nadu Valor. Yeah, we're good. Sean we're all good. Decision. Jordan yeah. Conroy gets a double in you the final. Try. Fantastic. Thanks. Try awarded. He always has a say. In games of rugby sevens, is this guy, Jordan Conroy. And it's hugs all round. Fiji are Toulouse sevens champions. The conversion doesn't make it from Ireland. But this team finished this tournament with six wins. The only team to have done that this weekend. Billy Dardis and Bolatha in conversation. Well done, Ireland, on reaching this stage. But Fiji, just a bit too good. They have won the Toulouse gold medal match by 29 points to 17.